Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I now invite the Chancellor to come and deliver her speech. We are again to the President and Commander in Chief of Defense Forces of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruta, the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education, Hon. Dr. Ezekiel Masogu, the Cabinet Secretary of Defense, Hon. Adam Dwarre, Governor of Garissa County, Your Excellency Naziz Diama, our principal secretary, Dr. B.T. Sinangara, of the Department of Higher Education and Research, members of parliament, current and former, Garissa County Assembly, Chief Council, members of the University Council, staff, value development partners, parents and guardians, our dear graduates, the city ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is with great joy, despite my voice, that I stand here today to celebrate the achievement. of dedication for both faculty and students with nothing the diverse group of graduates gives me with immense pride. I wish to offer heartfelt congratulations to all the graduates, parents, guardians, and the entire Garissa University fraternity for their collective commitment as stakeholders has led this to this success. The fruits of which we are celebrating today at today's graduation ceremony. Dear graduates, you have received an excellent education at Garissa University. Preparing you well to serve the global community wherever your skills are needed. Be diligent in your endeavors and always start stay connected with Garissa University, your alma mater. We wish you great success in your future pursuits. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, Garissa University has achieved remarkable success in a short span. From introducing new academic programs to fostering research, collaborations, and we are constantly innovating. This year, the exceptional number of graduates from the School of Education, Arts and Sciences demonstrates our commitment to nurturing future leaders and educators and feeling the teacher shortage challenges, particularly in the North Eastern region. We wholeheartedly support the government agenda, particularly the bottom-up economic information agenda, which prioritizes empowering the grassroots. The Italian is committed to aligning its programs with this agenda, ensuring our graduates possess the skills and knowledge to contribute to local economic development and job creation. Your Excellency, today also marks a significant milestone you have learned our strategic plan, and we are confident that this plan will prepare us to greater heights. However, we recognize that achieving this goals requires collaboration, and we have the federal government, the private sector, our development partners, and fellow investors to join us in this important journey. We are currently intended grateful for the government ongoing support specifically for funding of our uh, library, library tuition block and admission block. And we are grateful you have already promised that you are going to support us in this project. And we are saying this project has good that completed. Your Excellency, as we celebrate today, we must look towards the future. While collaboration, in, while collaboration is key, we must also leverage the Italian University's existing strengths 
and address religion's specific needs. We wish to prioritize the establishment of health sciences, which is a critical step towards addressing the critical health care challenges faced by also communities. We envision the future where the research university graduates equip the latest knowledge and skills in health sciences, become the backbone of a robust health system, serving not just the research but the entire ASAL region. This vision extends further with the potential to develop a school of medicine in collaboration with the public medical institution. And for this project, they think the governor of Garissa County has agreed to support us. Your Excellency, this day will not have happened without the contribution of so many of us here. I would first and foremost want to appreciate the government of Kenya, your government, to the Office of the CS and CS Education. Thank you for always having your doors open to listen to us wherever we reach and to you. We have had very strong responses from the CS, Dr. Ethical Machogu, to issues that would have taken a long time to be resolved. To the CS Defense, Honorable Dwayne, thank you for being our big brother and supporting us whenever we reach out to you. We appreciate the construction of Boho, which will solve our perennial water strategies and support our environmental conservation efforts. Our lecturers will appreciate your dedication and passion. Despite being understaffed, you have gone beyond your call of duty to support the university and the multitasking whenever you are called to do so. We appreciate the programs you are developing and reviewing, as well as multiple researches you are currently undertaking. I can only encourage you to keep it up as we try our best to recruit more lecturers in areas of their needs and also improve your working environment. To our partners, we are here because we have consistently held our hearts to continue to do so. We thank the Truth Government for support rendered to the issues of peace and security studies, the European Union, FCDC, who continue to partner with us in the project, projects, Marshal Corps for supporting in developing the geospatial lab, and many other partners that are friends of Galicia. We appreciate your support and we look forward to doing a lot more together. To the governors, senators, members of parliament, our council of Galicia, our dear and Mandela, we are indebted to you. It was a meeting to seek your support, implement of fees for our students, as you came in great numbers and supported us. Despite having a very busy schedule, you have to take the sacrifice as we encourage each of you to increase the allocation of bursaries to our students. The University Council Management, both led by the CC and the Senate, thank you for two more kind cooperation and a person to get a to greater height. The two first nights you have had are paying off and you continue to do so and to keep working as a family. Keep working the key. To your staff, thank you for the education and commitment. Our students, I can tell you Sana for your discipline and embracing diplomatic ways of resolving any issues that may arise. You are indeed the leaders of tomorrow. I may not be able to mention everyone, but I would like to say that the Gaisa University family is grateful for your support. May we continue to be our brother's keeper. Graduates, you are leaving behind the legacy of academic excellence. Carry the spirit of Gaisa University with you, a spirit of resilience, innovation, and a drive to contribute to a better Kenya. Embracing the forms like the CBC and technological advancement coupled with an entrepreneurial mindset fostered by the bottom-up approach. We ensure your success. Congratulations once again, class of 2024.
May God bless your sister and the world. God bless the university and God bless a loved country, Kenya. It is my, my, now my great honor to invite CS Education to address this congregation. Yeah, thank you. You are excellent.